Well, somebody who's just about to embark to a very assiduous and a very long journey to Pretoria, just to highlight uh, the plight of some uh, student activists who are still incarcerated simply because of the fees must fall protest. So, a uh, student leader himself, an activist, Mgebo Lamini, is uh, heading to the union buildings and he'll be walking from here behind me from vets all the way to Pretoria so lots and lots of kilometers for him ahead let's get a sense for him Debo thank you so much for joining us are you ready for this journey well uh, I am I am ready psychologically and spiritually I'm very much ready for the journey uh, just tell us about the very key reason why are you embarking on such a very long uh, journey well uh, young people's futures are on the line Young people are in jail. As we speak, there is a, a young man who is serving eight years in jail, Kanya Kregesha. And uh, another one, uh, Bonkos Kanyile, has been found guilty in KZN. And quite a number of others all over the country whom we don't know who are being prosecuted and persecuted in silence while um, we, we are still in class and probably life is, 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 going, on, is going on as if um, uh, 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 nothing is happening. And uh, we have government who have pronounced on free education, but those who uh, fought uh, uh, for, 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 for that uh, uh, to be realized are, are, are suffering uh, consequences on their own. So I am making an awareness and, 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 and handing a letter of a demand to the president to say, can he, uh, you know, uh, uh, exercise his prerogative rights and, 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 and pardon and give amnesty to all the, the, the fees must fall activists. And also we know that the president is out of the country, is attending the SADC summit yes. in Namibia. So you, you adamant that these demands will be met? Well, uh, the, 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 the country uh, can come to a standstill because the president is not there. He will see us and he will be told by his uh, colleagues in Namibia that things are happening in your country and probably you must uh, uh, rush back and entertain the demands of the young people. And the presidency, there is a deputy president and they are comrades like uh, Batabile and, uh, and Kosazana who are in the, in the office of the president. Definitely someone will and must receive the demands. Uh, it is a test uh, of, of, of the political will. And before you just undertake this journey, Mkabo, maybe remind us about the number of these activists who are still incarcerated in jail, who are still languishing in jail, simply because they went on demonstrations demanding free education. Well, uh, there is one who's already serving time, as we speak, a long term, uh, Kanya, who's serving eight years. Uh, is already serving eight years and there are about more than 10 convictions people who have already been found guilty others with suspended sentence others with house arrest i know amla at up he has a one-year house arrest and nobody knows that and nobody knows that such sentences still exist in south africa which means the young man is not going to school as his house arrested so i i wouldn't know about the exact number of those who are still going to court but it is a large number because I've been visiting universities, I've been to Univen, I've been to Free State, I've been to VUT, I've been to Northwest University. And every time when you get there, you are told of the stories of young people who are still going to court. And we don't have any other means to assist them except this drastic decision that uh, we are going to, 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 to embark on now, walking from here to Pretoria. And hopefully it will draw the necessary attention and, and touch the, the relevant hearts and then they, 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 they act in an appropriate way. Well, thank you so much indeed to Mkebo. We won't delay him any further. So by all means, it is a very drastic step as he'll be walking from Johannesburg to Pretoria. And uh, it's pretty hot here in Johannesburg. So hopefully he's physically fit and he'll be able to sustain during the course of this very long journey to the capital the seat of executive, the union buildings. Back to you in studio. Thanks very much for that, Kylie Kumalo.